All right, so I feel like we need to talk. It's been a few months now since I graduated from college for cinema production and from graduating, I was expecting to run out into the world, exploding with all these film ideas, the desire to write, and to jump onto basically any film set that would have me. You know, finally I can make what I wanted, I didn't have to follow a rubric telling me what to do. The possibilities felt endless. The reality? <laughs> I have not done a single film-related thing since graduated. And at first, this realization brought me so much guilt. I went from working on a new project every week to having no projects lined up at all. The current film I was writing for my whole senior year in directing consumed my mind basically every single day. It was an endless cycle of this for four years. As soon as one project ended, a new one took its place, and all of a sudden, when this film was over, I found myself with all this empty brain space that wasn't occupied by stressing or worrying about or thinking about the current project I was working on. And this reality concerned me. I started to wonder if maybe my passion for film was dwindling. And the thought of this scared the hell out of me because I just spent four years of my life working for this degree in film and basically since I was 12 knowing that I wanted to be a filmmaker and wanted to be a director and a writer. I always thought that after school my passion and desire for the industry and for making films was supposed to be at its height. You know, I'm young, I should be jumping onto any set and pledging my life to 12 hour shooting days in whatever position I could get. This is what I knew it would be like leaving school. This is the life I chose. And the idea of burnout, how could I possibly be burnt out after only four years of intense uh, filmmaking? Well, <laughs> the truth is I was burnt out. And honestly, I still kind of am. <laughs> To my shock, I found out that burnout can actually happen at any age and from anything. And while at first this news was earth shattering, <laughs> because being burnt out from something that you love and consumes your thoughts every single day is scary. And you know, it maybe gave me a slight identity crisis. But once I got past that of the being guilty and feeling like I didn't know where I was going in life and just having no desire or passion that was something that used to fuel me every day, I've kind of learned that being burnt out might have been the best thing for me right now. For the first time since graduating high school, I have time to breathe. For the longest time, I've looked at downtime as the fastest way to get behind. I assumed everyone was 10 steps ahead, and if I stopped to take a break, I would be even further behind. I thought that saying yes to any project, even if it was more effort than it was worth, was better than not being involved at all. This mentally left me scrambling with little time for myself, my mental and physical health took a back seat, and I never got the chance to entertain ideas that might have diverted from the traditional filmmaking path. When this period of breath started to happen, I slowly started to realize something a little bit crazy, that filmmaking and storytelling aren't about being involved and in making something all the time. In fact, stories come from your own experiences. They come from the world that you see around you, and creative inspiration strikes from random things that you watch and read and learn. And then I thought to myself, well, no wonder why I'm burnt out. I've been so engrossed in this one thing and focused on this one film and idea, I haven't had time to even look around. How can I be inspired and have stories to tell if I never take the chance to just live? How can I tell a different stories if I don't take the time to learn about different places, different ways of life, and different stories that are different than my own? While I haven't directly been working on films these past few months, I know that everything I have done these past few months have been slowly refueling my passion. And they have given me time to look at things from a fresh perspective. 
I started getting involved in other projects and things that I was passionate about. I've always wanted to finish this book that I've been writing since I was 10. And I've been rewriting it and writing it for a very long time. And now I finally get the chance to sit down and use my knowledge to make it actually okay. <laughs> I always wanted to travel, so I made plans to travel. The process of doing things for yourself outside of your main career path has opened my eyes to projects that I never would have thought of doing. I found a new curiosity in documentary filmmaking, and I have ideas for films and stories that I never would have thought of if I didn't travel or go on hikes and spend more time with my friends and family. With my new time and brain space, I've also been watching more films because that was something I never had time for. And surprisingly enough, your creativity and your ideas and you learn when you actually have the time to read books and watch films is <laughs> crazy. The reality is that the process of getting back your passion and discovering new stories that you want to tell is going to be horrifying because it's going to feel like everything you've done the past four years or five years or however long that you've been on this creative treadmill, you're all of a sudden going to feel like all of that was for naught and maybe you shouldn't even be doing filmmaking or storytelling or something creative at all and you should just opt out of it because is it worth the pain of feeling so burnt out and uncreative? And the answer is it is worth it because it is thrilling, quite honestly, to get that passion back. It's gonna suck when you don't have it, but all of a sudden when you are discovering things and the world around you and you get ideas for projects you wanna do, it all becomes suddenly worth it. <laughs> you know, you start to realize the world from a new perspective and one that isn't just so focused on the next project ahead. And I guess the reason why I wanted to make this video is I have a sense that I am not alone, that there's a lot of other people who also feel this intense guilt and just sorrow for not maybe being as passionate as they once were about something and feeling totally tired and burnt out from something. But the reality is, is that burnt out is normal. In fact, burnout is bound to happen um, in any stage of your life and with anything and especially when it comes to something creative and something like filmmaking you are putting so much of yourself into your films whether it's physically and mentally they are demanding being on set is demanding doing these projects are demanding and on set you're subject to long hours with little time to sleep and really take care of yourself between filming days and mentally, you are only laser focused on your project and the stress of having production go smoothly. And so all of that builds up over time and eventually you are going to have to come down from running on that treadmill. It, it has to happen. So the key is when you feel like that, when you feel burnt out, instead of trying to keep running on that treadmill, and trust me, I have many, many times and it never goes well when you feel like you have to keep going but the passion isn't there the love isn't there and you're not having fun with it you need to take a break for a while find an unrelated job you know tap into other hobbies other interests learn something watch movies read articles and what you're gonna find is those unrelated things are actually gonna fuel your passion to make more films I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit of a strange one, but I do kind of like just going through my process and what's happening right now. And I just know that the last four years were a lot and I never took the time to check in with myself ever. And I think that's a lot of the reason now why after school, I didn't want to really touch a camera. <laughs> I'm um, doing this in between my next trip. I just got back from Iceland, which was amazing. And the next trip I have planned is another trip to Europe, which is gonna be really exciting. So I'm gonna have some fun travel vlogs coming up for that. And I also wanna do some more writing videos because I can talk about writing and characters all day long and we will definitely get into that. But I just kinda wanted to make this video because I feel like 
Um, if anybody else needed to hear this, I just wanted to share my story. And I know sometimes like on social media and YouTube, it can look like somebody's having the time of their lives, you know, but because I've shared so much of my college experience, I wanted to share the aftermath of that, you know, it's not just you get your degree and then you ride off into the sunset. There's going to be a lot of other trials and tribulations to that. And yes, I am still planning on going to grad school in the spring, next spring, but you know, that time in between, there's a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotions, and I just wanted to make this video to hopefully help. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching so much. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and you don't want to miss out these next couple travel vlogs because I have so many fun things coming. Thanks, guys, and remember, adventure starts with you.